Three former Michigan State football players are not going to prison in a sex assault case that rocked the campus and generated national headlines. Josh King, Donnie Corley, and Demetric Vance all learned their fate today, and it came from the same judge who presided over the Nasser case. Rod Maloney shows us how a crucial plea deal brought the case to an end. Do you think you did anything wrong? No, Your Honor. Why are we here? It was an odd exchange between Judge Rosemarie Aquilina and former Michigan State University football player Josh King and two former teammates today who stood for their sentencing in a guilty plea. King's alleged to have pulled a female co-ed into an MSU campus apartment bathroom, forcing her to have sex with him in January of 2017, and then allegedly passing her around to Corley and Vance, videotaping the scene in his phone. King claimed the video showed it was all consensual, which ultimately led to a plea deal. King, Corley and Vance, now former MSU Spartan football players, pled guilty to seducing an unmarried woman. King had the added charge of surveillance of an unclothed person. Despite the exchange, the judge sentenced all three to 36 months to what's called Holmes Youthful Training Act probation, or HIDA probation. That means if they complete probation successfully, their records get erased. The judge, who gained fame in the Larry Nasser case, had this to say to all three before handing down her sentence. Every action in the world has a reaction. This is the reaction to what you have done collectively. And you cannot undo it for the victim. She's going to live with this forever, and I'm hoping that she will heal. Now, the judge also sentenced the trio to treatment for sex offenders, individual and group therapy, 100 hours of community service, and she also added that they cannot go on the Tinder video dating app. And uh, this is, of course, bringing an end to the highly controversial case that still raised a lot of questions about the campus culture within the athletic department at Michigan State University. Kimberly, back to you. Yeah, and so what happens if the player or former players, I guess I should say, violate the pro mm -hmm. their probation here, Ron? Right. Um, yeah, five years in prison. So they are incentivized to stay on the straight and narrow in this one yeah. for sure. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Ryan.